What's going on guys, Marijn here and welcome to the video. We are currently road tripping in the US. Now if you know one thing about America that we don't have in Europe, it is all the fast food chains. So in today's video I'm going to try out some different fast food chains in America that I've never had and I'm going to rate them for you guys so that you can try them out yourself as well so you can get a good idea. What I like, you might not even like it, but hey, I'm just giving my opinion in this video and having a European try out American fast food. So let's get right into it. <laughs> first fast food chain that I really wanted to go to for a while that I've seen coming by but I never went is Chick-fil-A so that's what we're gonna try out today this all looks very exciting to me the chicken biscuit we got the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich and then we got waffle fries never heard of that before looks pretty dope and we got some signature sauce here as well Chick-fil-A sauce let's try out the sandwich first looks a bit plain people told me this was amazing though so I'm, I'm, I'm not judging I'm not judging oh yeah, yeah. That's good shit. I never had something like this. A chicken biscuit. It smells like kind of like sweet bread. Something different. Let's try it out. Well, I've never had this taste sensation in my mouth. It's nice, just like potato fries. Shape is pretty nice though. It feels nice in the mouth. No joke, it actually does. That was honestly amazing. I enjoyed it so much. So I'm gonna give this meal in total eight and a half. Like it's really high on my list. I think the name of this place says enough. Time to get fat, I guess. You can tell this place is American by the portions. All right, so the biggest burger here on the menu is one and a half pound. That is unreal. And they're actually doing a challenge here as well. I don't know why you'll win, but let me know in the comments down below if I should ever do that. One and a half pounds of meat. Yeah, but at this time I went for the large and this is still a good piece of meat, okay? Oh, whoa. Damn, like it's so freaking juicy. It's probably because of all the fat in the burger, but hey. It's amazing. I'm personally not a big fan of like why they put the cheese on here when it's still like kind of like gold and hard and not melted. Mmm, that's nice. It tastes more like Mexican food. The thing about this burger, it tastes so juicy and actually fresh. And you can see that it's not like a patty that was frozen and just unfrozen, but it's actually made on the spot, right? You can tell that by the shape of the meat, so it's definitely fresh. As you see, the cheese kind of melted anyway. You just have to leave it closed for a little bit. Overall, this meal, Absolutely amazing, unreal. I'm gonna rate this meal in total an eight. Next up, meal we're trying today is El Pollo Loco. Never been here in my life. And I thought this would kind of be like KFC. Uh, when I walked in, I actually realized that they had plenty of decently healthy options. So I don't know how good it actually is for a cheap meal, but I decided to go for the regular chicken, like chicken breast and chicken wings, uh, because that is probably their specialty. So let's see how loco this chicken really is. Mm, that's good. It is juicy, it is solid. It doesn't really give the cheap meal feel though. Next to the chicken, I have the broccoli. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. And also mashed potato. I don't find the mashed potato that nice, just like kind of like standard. Um, and these tortillas are definitely not nice at all. I'm not even gonna eat those. So overall, it was a decent meal. Actually pretty healthy, more healthy than I thought when I walked into this place. So I'm not sure if we can consider this a cheat meal. It's actually pretty decent. You even get vegetables with it, etc. Even though it wasn't that special, I did really enjoy it. So I would give it a six for this particular meal because I don't think it for a cheat meal, it is that amazing. I think KFC would be better in my opinion. Next up is the In-N-Out Burger. Originally, I thought it was only in California, but apparently they are in a lot of different states right now. The burgers here are absolutely amazing and you can just taste that all the ingredients are super fresh and everything is made in the house. So I absolutely love that. Um, next to the burgers, I love the animal style fries and I recommend going for that if you wanna go for the fries. So it's fries topped with cheese, a secret in and out sauce and grilled onions. And these are unreal, okay? So you cannot miss out on those. They're actually not on the menu, right? So they're on like a secret menu. I'm not sure why they do that, but it's all over the internet. You can find a secret menu there. So they have a lot of different choices on that secret menu. In and Out is definitely my favorite fast food spot that I've been so far in the US. So I'm gonna give it a nine. Meal of the day is Taco Bell. Never had this in my life. So I'm pretty excited and curious of what they have to offer. So let's give it a try. So I decided to roll with a little bit of everything so I can get a good impression. So I have one crunchy taco, one soft taco, and then one beef mini quesadilla. Yes. You like it? Not my job. Thing is, like, I've had a lot of homemade tacos and burritos, and 
if I make them myself or my mom or someone else makes them, they're a lot nicer. Meat doesn't taste the same. Um, no? Doesn't taste the same as when you go to an actual Mexican restaurant. What, what could I expect? Next I'll do the quesadilla. I have a little bit more expectations of this, I would say. Mm. It's pretty nice. It's still, um, you know, mwah, mwah. I get a little bit of a mad feeling with this one and that one. Quesadilla is pretty good, but that is probably also because there's just a lot of cheese on there and I like cheese. But this, like, uh, I don't think it's worth it. Chipotle burrito would have been a lot nicer and has better macros too. I just feel like something is missing here, some spices or it's just kind of like too bland. So the average of Taco Bell, in my opinion, will be a five and a half. So now on to the next one. Oh my God. I had no idea. That, oh like, what God. is this? This is like a family size fries. Today we're trying out Shake Shack. Now this is a real American place. Portions are absolutely enormous. All right, so this is something we ordered today. Only have this in this particular location in Las Vegas. I'm gonna try it out. It's their signature uh, it's cheese loaded fries. There's bacon in here. It's good, it's nice, but it doesn't come close to the animal fries at in and out To be completely fair, Shack Burger, I guess I would have to go for that one. High and fat, you know, like the oil is like dripping out. It kind of tastes like a cheeseburger at the McDonald's. Not that special. Now, now we get to the good part, I think. Shake Shack. They're probably known for their shakes. Maybe this is the shit. Maybe this is gonna get the rating up. An Oreo vanilla shake. Okay. Okay. This is why you should go here. Not the rest. You can get better somewhere else. I don't often have milkshakes, but I know this is a good one. As far as the burger. It is better than cheeseburger at the McDonald's. It's a little more juicy, but at the same time, I don't think it's worth the calories because it's a lot higher in calories than the one at the McDonald's. I would rate this meal altogether at six and a half. So these are all the fast food chains that I tried out during this trip. Now, obviously America has a lot more to offer when it comes to fast food. So make sure to let me know in the comments down below what your favorite fast food place is, where I should go next time and what I should order. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like if you did and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.